Slice Select Tool in Photoshop. Let's illustrate Slice Select Tool. Right click on this and you can choose Slice Select Tool. But before we can use this tool, we we have to make a slice first in order to illustrate the slice select tool so i'm going to make a slice so a slice tool so we have slice like this in the previous video i illustrated the the use of slice slice tool so before this video you can you can check that video first now we are going to use the slice tool right click and slice select tool what you can do with slice select tool you can move the slices by the use of slice select tool you cannot use the slice select tool to move the generated slices only the user define slices or manual slices that can be moved so that's a slice select tool let's arrange it again what you can do also you can move slices by holding shift and it will move horizontally it will lock horizontally since i press uh, can also move this you can also hold shift and move vertically and it will lock with that position what you can do also with the select slice with the slice select tool you can resize the slices if you want to resize the slices proportionally you can to you can go to individual corners here and hold shift and it will resize proportionally but it, if you don't want to resize it proportionally you can just drag the individual corners without holding the shift so that's uh, resizing the slice you can also duplicate slices with the use of slice select tool by pressing alt let's say we want to duplicate this slice and hold the alt and drag it to the to this to the left and drop it there so we duplicate the other slice here what you can do also press ctrl z let's say we want to make a duplicate of this down you can press alt and drag it down and we and it will create a same slice of that you can also delete in user defined slice with the use of with the use of slice select tool let's say i want to do i want to delete this click on this and you can either press delete or backspace say we want to press the delete can delete that way you can also align slices with the use of this let's say i want to align these two slices with uh on top i want to align them on top so click on this and hold shift to add another selection and click on this so it will be aligned in the in the top what you can do also let's say we want to move this another slice you can align this with the left portion here click this and hold shift you can select this and tick on this alignment tool so it will align based on the left line or left position here so that's alignment in uh, select slice select tool you can hide also slices hide auto slices it will hide the auto generated slices but it will not hide the user defined slices or manual slices like this three you can show it back again what you can do also with the slice select tool let's say i, I will select this is you can divide 
individual slice with smaller slices so select this you can click divide or you can right click and divide so let's say I select this and I click divide I want to divide this slice into three slices by horizontally horizontal slice or let's say five slices horizontally you can also divide vertically let's say eight you can do that way and click ok also if there's an overlapping slice in photoshop let's say we are going to create a slice here so when i select the the other slice here it's that there's an intersection between them what you can do also as you can see the intersection when i select this it doesn't shows because the other slice which is the smaller one here is at the back of this slice so what you can do with that you can bring this if you want to the top if you want to be what you can do is you can hover to this icons as the icon pertains that means you can bring bring to front you can either bring to front bring forward individual you can bring to front is you can one click and it will bring to the front unlike unlike this one move it forward one by one and this one move move backward one by one also this one it will send back to the to the farthest back of the of the overlays of the slices so let's say we want this to be on the top we can click this and it will bring this to the top as you can see when i click this the there's no intersection when you once you create that it will create a new user defined slice the difference it will differ once we we save it we once we save it or let's say we want to export it export save for web and then let's fit in the view let's say i want to save this i want to save this what it will do it will not save this because this is the intersection slice between the two it will only save one of this side and this side so let's see jpeg save as let's image default settings selected slices and save let's check that out images as you can see it create uh, it saved this corner slice and the other but it didn't save the intersection which is this one because it is covered by the other slice so that's uh, another note for the select slice select tool but if you want to save this entire slice this one and you want to co cover this what you can do you can bring this up to the top and do the same thing export yes. and we are going to save this as you can see there's no intersection but if you select this there's an intersection by so we we bring this to the front now we can save this as a whole jpeg save us slice then click save i choose the selected slices which is this one and save as you can see here it is now this is the hole and this is the divided which is, has the intersection before so that's slice select tool in photoshop it helps the slice select tool which has the same shortcut which is C so I hope this video tutorial helps you don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching